What's up, everyone? Tyler Brown here with Future DDS. Terrell Friday here with Future DDS. And today, we're going to give you our top takeaways from the one year. Let's go. So, for anyone who's new to the channel, Terrell and I basically put these videos together to help pre get into school as well as show what our general school experience is like. So if you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you're alerted whenever we post new content. Alright, so this week we're taking our last test of the year. Thank God. It feels like we've been in school for forever, forever for real. Forever. Like, literally. Whew. I'll tell you what, Claude, you were right when you said what you said. You said we were gonna never get out of this place. And you were right. In finishing this first year, Tyler and myself, we wanted to give you kind of our biggest take homes that we feel will help you be successful getting through your first year of dental school. So, like Terrell said, it's been an extremely long year, and our first big takeaway for everybody who's entering dental school is to make sure to practice your hand skills. Do not sleep on this hand skill. Do not, do not <laughs> sleep. It is a skill. So a skill means you have to practice, and there definitely are those people who are just naturally gifted at it, but for the majority of us, you're gonna need your practice. So granted, you might get you know around eight hours, six hours um, within the school week designated for practice. Make sure you go in on the weekends. Make sure after your uh, final lecture of the day, you go in and practice for one or two hours, whatever it may be, because that practice is really gonna uh, make you make the difference between you being a good dentist and being a great dentist. So having your hand skills up to par is definitely something that's super crucial, something essential, something you have to work on, work towards, um, you know, just keep a sketch pad or something like that to work with your hands. Yeah. That's what I do, you know, it kind of helped me with like depth perception and stuff. But I mean, I'd say my biggest take home would be um, just learning what works for you best, you know what I mean? Um, not everybody's gonna study the same way, not everybody's gonna, you know, get all the information the same way, learn, learn best in the lab the same way. So really figure out what's gonna be best for you so you can just be as efficient as possible. And that extra time you get is extra time you can spend in the lab, the extra time you can, you know, take a trip on the weekend, go just explore the city that you're in. You know, whatever you want to do, you kind of allocate your time wisely then. So as early as possible, figure out what works for you, create an efficient schedule, and then from then on, you can use that free time to kind of, you know, work your schedule around, knocking out your priorities. So like Terrell said, priorities is, is huge, everybody, huge. And your priorities will line up once you start going throughout dental school to really understand what is important and what's not. Um, and on that topic, another huge take home that I think that both of us have you know, definitely realized is just learning when to say no. And not as much as saying no to other people, but really saying no to yourself. You know, because there will be times when you know you might have a test on Wednesday. Some of your classmates might be going out on Friday or Saturday. If you're not prepared, if you are not prepared to go out, oh. do not go. Sit, yo. Oh. <laughs> Sit down. Stay Sit home. down. You know, and I think that, I think we can both say that we, we've done that. You know, yeah. we've been, you know, everybody's hyped up. Everybody wants to go out because they're ready. They've studied, but you know, we might have been doing something else and we weren't able to dedicate the time yeah. prior. So we were going to use the weekend to catch up. And so we go out and what happened? Our, our grades definitely represent Either that, uh, that or bad choice. That or you just dumb stressed. Yeah, and that's not worth it. And that's not either because like, I'm sure everybody who's watching this channel has been so stressed that it's almost impossible for them to learn. Yeah, like you know? you're, you're just looking at stuff and you're just trying to get through it, but like at the end of the day, you're not learning anything because you you're know? stressed out. Because you're you know? so stressed. You need to learn self discipline and literally just say no to distractions in general. The last thing that you should do is learn to ask for help. Like learn early. This is a, this is like kind of a skill in itself. Is a you know because no one really wants to no one really wants to seem like they're at a disadvantage or like they're not taking care of their business. So you have to really learn to you know find a group of people that you can really trust. One people that you know can be of some type of assistance. You know whether it's hand skills, whether it's learning material. People that maybe took the class before. You got TAs, mentors. Like it's so many people in school, so many outlets that you have to kind of you know, uh, be proactive in reaching out and creating that support system for yourself 
going through things. Because you never know when something may happen in your personal life where you got to pick up something on the back end with your lab work, something, pick up something on your back end with your school work, stuff like that. So at the end of the day, you want to make sure that you're creating a support system. Make sure you're learning when to ask, how to ask for help and when to ask for help. Because you want to, you definitely want to get the help early. Like you don't want to wait till the end of the semester where you're trying to scramble to get a grade or scramble to get uh, this procedure together, something like that. You definitely want to hit it early, attack an issue, any issue that you have early so that, you know, it can be attacked proactively, you know what I mean, instead of pre uh, on the back end, so. All right, y'all, so that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Those are our huge takeaways from this new one year. You know, we've, we've had highs, we've had lows, and uh, we definitely wanted to just share with you all what we've learned throughout this experience so far. Yeah, and if y'all have any questions or any suggestions, you know, about the D1 year, if you just finished your D1 year, add that suggestion down to the comment to help anyone starting their year. If you have any specific questions, you can head over to Instagram, follow us at underscore future DDS. You know, you can send us a DM there. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. Um, but other than that, make sure you hit that like button, the subscribe button, and notification bell so you know whenever we post up new videos. And that's going to be it. Um, Got to get studying for this test. <laughs> we'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>